All right, day four. You ready, girl? Yeah. Figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff needed to make baby sharks. So, you gotta have your notebook. Get ready, take notes. And we got our bag for collecting purposes, gloves for obvious reasons. Petroleum jelly so that it doesn't hurt her when the injection tube is inserted. And this is what we're using, so you don't have to ask me because I will not remember. This is Juice Specialty. I'm just here to, uh, well, do you need any assistance? Figures. I forgot the most important thing in this situation. This is one of those uh, no glove, no love kind of deals. Yeah, we we need gloves for this uh, for this special occasion. Let me get on the road. It's time for you to stop destroying your bones. Let's load up in this truck and see if we can't make another blue on black, huh? Yeah, guys, it's time. Bustella is ready to breed. Um, everything's been going great. We're about to get her out and head to the LA Bully Cartel compound where we will be breeding her again to Grand Champion Jaws. Who is Champion Buster's daddy? This is a repeat breeding. Bustella, you ready, girl? Come on. Let's go, Mama. I gotta close the door. It's hot in here. Come on. Come on, Mama. I'm gonna have to put my phone up, guys, because I will have to help her. Come on, girl. Come on, boo. That's right, Mama. Come on, boo. Where you at? Good girl. Come on. Step up. Oh, good job, mama. Good job, girl. Guess I don't have to load her. Time for me to ride, guys. So I am in the truck. Got Boo in the back. Hey, Boo. Mama Boo. Hey, Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Hey, girl. Bustella. Hey, mama. Hey, girl. There you are. She's ready. So we're going to go talk to Julian Ammons, who is Jaw's owner. And we're gonna go ahead and start hitting Boo uh, with Jaws. We are gonna be doing, uh, well, we're gonna pull ourselves and we will be doing artificial insemination. I am not going to show you all of that on the camera. I will show you what I'm able to with it being, uh, without it being vulgar for children, okay guys? I'm gonna teach you as much as I can, but I have children that watch my channel, my own kids do, and I wanna keep it good for yours too. That means comments as well, man. Just keep it nice, dude. This is supposed to be a family deal. And everything I do is for families one way or the other. So let's keep it good. Uh, let's get headed over to the compound. I'll show you guys, like I said, as much as I can when I get there. Hold on, Josh. No, Josh. Not happening. He's ready. Well, we are headed home. Had a successful breeding with old Jaws. And, uh,. He was pretty excited, as you saw, to see her. But we want to keep this PG for the kids, if there are any watching. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. We will do this uh, at least a couple more days. Um, tomorrow and Thursday, at least. And we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, did, Jude did notice that she felt a little tight. So that might mean she's slightly early. Um, I had done two progesterone tests last week and she was still low on numbers, but the last one was Thursday. So I've kind of felt like the 19th, which is tomorrow, is our key day. So that's been stuck in my head for a while now is 519. And uh, maybe that's why, I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. But booze in the back and resting. Hey mama. Good girl. She's been uh, chilling. She's ready to go out and go to the bathroom. 
as soon as it's um, as soon as we're done with the AI, we we um, I put her in the truck so that she's not able, you know, she won't pee in the truck. So that way, and that's why I have the mat down in the back so it doesn't make a mess or anything. But that way, it stands a better chance of staying in her to impregnate her. So that's the reason for that. We let her go to the bathroom before we start. And then we don't let her go to the bathroom for probably about 30 minutes to an hour afterwards. And then we let her go. And she'll be fine now when she gets home to use the restroom. And go back tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys. So, if you guys have new concrete, you can, the day after, uh, you can spray it, soak it down, and let it dry and do that several times. Now, I'm going to go over and I'll, I'll scrape the surface because there's little, you see the little knobs and stuff. Those are just loose little pieces from brooming yesterday. It was slightly wet when it was brooming still, so it made little knobs, but they're, they're loose. They just flake right off. So, And then at some point, like I wasn't, we weren't worried about perfect because, you know, more than likely I'm going to do some resurfacing to it and then uh, I'll do a colored sealer on top. But so if you do this, what it does is, as you do it over a few days, it makes the concrete become really white. So if you didn't want to, um, you know, if you didn't want to design your concrete or something like that, you can do this and it just, I don't know, it makes it look really nice. Now, you know, it's going to get dirty over time, so keep that in mind. But for us, I'm just doing it kind of to show you guys I don't really care. <laughs> for real. I just sometimes do it a couple times because it's pretty neat. Like as it dries in the sun, it'll, it'll turn white today. It'll start, it'll get whiter and whiter the more you uh, put water on it. So. Ah, oh, got you, Buster. Well, everything came out good. Other side's good to go. I'm just watering the concrete. <laughs> Pro-ish tip of the day for you guys. Uh, if, if you didn't know, I'm not just like randomly telling you guys stuff about concrete. Uh, I have been, I've owned Del Rayleigh Designs, Inc. Uh, since 2008, and I've done construction since 2005. Um, I specialized in decorative concrete, so if you go back and look at the videos on my channel, you can find, you know, uh, several. There's one I can, I'll put the link in the description. And it's an entire video from start to finish of making a uh, floor look like hardwood. And here, here's what it looked like when I was done. And uh, the link is in the description. So if you want to watch and see the entire process for that, go check it out. Um, if I want to get to where we do this, then I'll set up cameras and do some type of a video process for that as well. Um, and I may do a training course. We'll see how that goes. Time will tell. But pro tip of the day, water your concrete when it's brand new. So if I did this one and didn't do that one, you'd see the difference. Um... I, mean, I guess I could do that. It doesn't really matter, but... Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, yeah, I'll leave it. I won't do that side, just so you can see what this does. Bustel and Jaws first breeding was successful. Good to go. Go back tomorrow and Thursday. And I have a feeling that because Bustel is in heat, these three are probably not too far behind. Well, actually full five, because... Mika's never had a heat though, yet, so she's due, and Ellie's getting, like, rowdy, so that usually means she's coming in, and yeah, you see there, they're, everybody's getting to be on it, so thankfully, I've had no issues with Buster or Loso, um, you know, hopefully it stays that way, they've been good boys, um, like, Buster doesn't try to compete with Loso, and Loso has always really loved Buster. Loso is the alpha, and Buster is, like, smaller. So, generally, not saying that he's weaker, but he's much, you know, he's a good bit smaller than Loso. So, for him to challenge him, you know, he's got to be, you know, he's just, he doesn't do that. He's never, Buster's never tried to be alpha in the yard. Um... He protects the yard, but he knows his spot, so. Huh, it's that time of day. Getting rid of the burnable trash. Saving space in the landfills. Doing a little part. Not burning plastic and all that crap. It's just cardboard and paper and paper towels, stuff like that. I don't burn diapers, none of that crazy stuff. <clears throat> but... John's on his way to cut joints. It's uh, Tuesday today. So that'll finish up the slabs. They look good. Everything came out great. I cleaned off the little knobs earlier. So now my next challenge is going to be figuring out 
what I'm going to do and what it will cost so I know roughly, you know, what it's going to take for this thing because it is pretty good size. I'm curious, you guys, what, what would you like to see out here? You know, this is a play area for our family, our dogs, um, you know, the videos. I can do literally anything. So what would you like to see? I'm looking for sponsors. I'm looking for, uh, I would prefer to use Elite Creep product unless there's another very high reputable company out there that thinks their product can compare to Elite Crete, then I'm open to solutions. But I can literally do whatever you guys want to see out here. And I'll show you from start to finish. <clears throat> so, and then from then on, it's all going to be in our videos, um, you know, continuing on the channel. So, yeah, give me your input. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, we still have a lot to go back here, but it's slowly coming together. I have 30 days, well, 28 days, to plan and get stuff together in order to start that. I can go ahead and get all the grinding done and clean up and stuff like that. And then basically a month from now, I could start the project, uh, which I don't mind doing. I'm working at home, so... I can work around the heat and stuff like that. Um, but let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm very curious what your guys' ideas are. Um, yeah, just drop a comment. Let me know. Let's set it on fire. Well, hey guys, we are in the garage this evening. Uh, Miss, Miss Bustella is, she's currently uh, receiving a medication. It's Remedil because she has a... Uh, she's got a little knee limp, so we're taking care of her. She's been checked by two docs. Everything's fine, but it is something that we're aware of and taking care of. Dang, boo. Did she just puke up water? She must have. Dang, girl. You made a mess. All right, so what we're going to do is I got my boy Isaac here, and we're going to show you guys what it takes to give her this. Now... I could just give her the pill and shove it down her throat, and I do that sometimes. But my loving, kind wife got her these greeny pill pockets. So, Isaac, why don't you go ahead and open up one of those. And take one of the pills. Yep. Make sure you cover it back up, please, sir. All right. Just one. You got one? All right. Now, these are pretty easy. Just put the pill into the into the pill pocket. There you go. And now what you wanna do, see the end? Pinch the end, like there you go, perfect. Make sure the pill's completely covered up though. Cause if she tastes it, it's gonna be really bitter and then she'll just spit it out, okay? So as long as you got it good and covered, I usually kneel down and give it to her. This is Isaac's first time giving one to Boo. So, and she's good. We're just showing you guys kind of how to do things easily, okay? Um, maybe tomorrow, if I remember, I'll show you how I pop one down her throat, okay? It's not bad. It's just, it's much easier to do this. Go ahead and give it to her. Good girl, boo. Tell her good girl. She'll take it from you. And as long as she takes it, just leave her be. And she will probably drop it, but normally she goes back and picks it up and eats it. Good girl, boo. As long as she don't taste that pill, she's okay. If she tastes the pill, then you might see me shove it down her throat now. We'll, we'll just hope she eats it, okay? She is getting Remedil currently. It is a safe medication. Good girl, boo. It is a safe medication for breeding and pregnant females. And we also additionally, here you go guys, uh, this is vet recommended for any type of joint issues. You want to make sure that it has Cosequin in it. Um, you can get stuff from a vet. We picked this up from our local pet store. So she's going to get, I believe it's two of these. Isaac, go ahead and give her, yeah. So it's easy on the back, 31 to 60 pounds, two these are chewables, 
So just give her one at a time, Isaac, and she'll eat them. Good girl, boo. Mm -hmm. Just let her have it. Did she take it? You see it? Did she take that one? We don't want to give her... Oh, here's one. She just dropped it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. I want you to take the camera and try to show... I'm going to pop them down her throat so you get to see this now. All right. Stop, Low. It's okay. She's in heat, guys, so Loso is going crazy. All right. All you do... Get in the back of her mouth, kind of just, and if she gives you a hard time, just grab them here and kind of blow in their face, and that'll make them swallow. Thanks, sir. You did a good job. Good job first time. All right, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the channel, like the video, and don't forget to tell your friends. Uh, we're going to be going into a lot of detail for American bullies, um, a good bit for corgis. And good old Miss Mika. She is getting a bigger kennel soon. It is on the way because she has outgrown that one. So she's got, I think that's a 42. And Loso's in a 42. But she's got a 48 coming. And then we're going to downsize and give the next biggest that one. So it'll probably be Miss Ripley's going to get Mika's old one. Or Miss Boo, just because she's the oldest. We'll see how we do that. We'll work it out. Stella, you ready to go see your boyfriend? You ready to go see Jaws? Come on, girl. You need help today? Come on, let's go. Come on. Yep, I'm going to have to help her. Hold on. Yeah, I don't always like them jumping. This is a terrible truck for dogs to, well, for bullies to get in and out of. Sometimes she'll do it, but. Boo, you ready? All right, let's go get them. Take two, take two. Jaws is uh, chattering his teeth already. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Boo, Jaws. Just wait, dude. Wait, dude. Jaws. Just wait. All right, so as you can tell, she's ready. He knows he's ready. So, again, not going to show that, but there we go. Huh? It was a good, good, uh, Specimen. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Two full syringes. Yeah. Good pull, Jaws. All right. Now we gotta get her ready and. Well, yeah. I just I can't do. I gotta help hold her. So not videoing. Here again, day 15, I think. AI number three. See, whenever dogs are breeding, they don't eat very much. When girls are in heat, like she was thicker right before all this started, jaws too. So whenever we're breeding dogs, you gotta make sure you give them breaks. Sorry, we got a little boy upset in the background. Um. But, you gotta give them breaks. Otherwise, I have a hard time. And there's Josh. He just came out and said, hey. Leave her Bebo. It's not time yet. We gotta calm the little one first. You don't even have to get a glove out and he gets excited. <laughs> no glove, no love, right, uh, Josh? Definitely. 
So now you can see what I did the patios for. More room for activities, guys. Yeah, they love it. The dogs are happy, the kids are happy. That's what it's about for us here. Huh, girl? Have a girl? She's got her bowl. Yeah, she's ready. And certainly the man of the, well, gonna be five days. Today it's day four, we're gonna stop tomorrow and we'll call Thursday the midpoint. And then at that point, we'll plan out 63 days for due date. Um, we can confirm pregnancy, what, after 45? Yeah, 45. Um, so we'll keep it up posted, I guess. Either she'll be pregnant or she won't. And I, Isaac's going to be a pro at that thing soon. I can't do it. I'd break my neck, but he's doing pretty good. That was a good one, man. Good job. He's learning fast. She's learning fast. <laughs> the dogs, eh. Most of the time. I tested out the cameras. And I'm going to get some stuff going. Got some projects to do this year. I'm gonna do some project videos, maybe an airbrush project uh, with a buddy or a couple. I'm gonna do a concrete project. So if you're interested in being a part of any of that, I honestly really could use sponsors for that. Yeah, I'm gonna do some really cool videos on YouTube of the complete project. You know, uh, for the airbrushing, we can do a time lapse and different stuff for that. And for the concrete, same thing, step by step process for this entire deck. I'm no longer in business, so I no longer have equipment. So I'll have to get somebody out to grind it, or I'm going to have to go buy a hand grinder and grind this thing. And then I'll have to buy the product and do the work the work will take depending on how hard i do out here it could take anywhere from a few days to weeks depending on how detailed and, and crazy we go and uh here guys i'm gonna you know pop up a few pictures here so you can see some of my other projects that i've done before um but that's what i used to specialize in i did retire um but here and there I, w I would like to do projects and the main reason for that is to teach other people not to make a bunch of money so I'm actually looking for sponsors to help me cover the material and the grinding and uh, this total area is like 1650 square feet so to do a really really nice design I mean, I'm looking at probably anywhere from 3 to $4 a square foot cost. And we can do something phenomenal because the rest of it is just my time. And I'm not worried about being paid for my time. I'm just trying to cover the materials. If you'd like to be a sponsor for something like that. Um, well, you can email me at delrayleydesigns at gmail.com. And we're going to have member uh, channel memberships coming up. We're going to do some live videos where you can do super chats and things like that. So there's a lot of stuff coming up that I have going to try. You know, I've never done that stuff before. So we're going to give it a try and see how it goes. And, uh, you know, I don't expect it to take off in a day. But we'll do some different stuff. You know, we'll plan little events or whatever uh, for the lives. And you can do, like, live chat. Uh, ask questions, you know, all kinds of stuff. We'll be out with the dogs having fun. And, yeah, it'll be live on YouTube. So, I, you know, I encourage you guys to like and subscribe so that you see what's coming up and you don't miss anything. And because this is now just all being set up, um, you guys can actually get in on the ground and helping us grow and becoming a member and so on. So if you can't, don't worry. I, I don't, you know, I'm not forcing anyone into it. Um, we'll have some different stuff for our members. 
and currently I'm awaiting approval for that. And I'm gonna try to figure. Oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure out a live project to do for you guys. So, if you have any input, please comment what you'd like to see. Um, I'm capable of doing a lot of different stuff, whether it be artwork, concrete, uh, babysitting. <laughs> Abigail. Yeah, I'm a great babysitter, as you see. We run on a flat tire sometimes, but we'll get it done. And then, uh, well, airbrushing. Here's one of the, an airbrush project I never finished, and it's at the LA Bully Cartel compound. And I thought about, I just went and looked at it again today, and I thought about doing a video where um, you can watch me paint these wolves. And so, yeah, tell me what you think. Girl. She's trying to give the dog some water. <laughs> Come on, girl. Get out of the sprinkler. Come on. She's going to be soaking wet. You know, a good dad would go get her. Have a girl. Come on. Get out of the water. Come on, girl. Come here, baby. You think you're funny? Come on, you're all wet. Come on, girl. Hey. Let's go. Come on. I gotta move it anyway. It's wet enough there. She's got a shank. You look dangerous, Mika. You're the biggest on the, on the yard. You need a weapon too? What's wrong with you, girl? Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. I'm going to finish up this video. Uh, I had a, a subscriber that asked if I could do a little conversation about pack mentality. and Loso, what are you doing, man? Okay, let's talk about pack mentality right now. I'm the alpha of this yard. Drop my ball. Drop it. Give me my ball, dude. What was that? You digging already for real? He thinks he's the alpha of the yard. So, pack mentality, guys. Um, Alright. Loso is alpha for males. And obviously Buster after that. Mika is the biggest. Yes, she's, she's huge. But out of the dogs out here, she's the youngest. And she's actually on the bottom of the pack. Uh, Buster will jump on her and hold her down. Ripley will jump on her and hold her down. Nehi will jump on her and hold her down. And Doe? Doe just sweeps out her legs and knocks her down. Okay? But all of the bullies are above her. Now, that's going to change as she gets older. And But I also... You know, Mika is very, very fast. So... In an open environment, she could wear these dogs out, okay? But in a closed environment like this, the bullies are very heavy and they're very strong, okay? Mine are just... I, I'm strict with my training. Um, I start from a very young age. I don't allow biting. I don't allow fighting. Um, you know, th what they're doing, they're playing, you know? As soon as it gets... If it gets too much, I stop them immediately. Um, because I have had fights, and that was when I had four or five males on the yard, and girls were coming in heat. Um, see, here you go. They're going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. But Ripley can take Mika down. Like, it doesn't, that size doesn't matter. Um, the pack mentality is pretty much, you know, when girls come in heat, then that's when boys compete. 
Ah, nice little rhyme for you today. But when when the girls come in heat, then boys do compete, for real. Like, that would be when you're going to have your problems. And including in the girls. Girls can fight when one comes in heat, too. Because what happens is the girl in heat, I mean, she wants to mate, okay? And the other girls smell it, the boys smell it. So the boys are going to fight to be the one that can do it in a pack. Now, I don't allow that, obviously. I have champion American bullies. These are not fighting dogs. They're not guard dogs. They are my pets. They're my buddies. Um, and that dude right there has saved my life. Okay? That's the truth. He gave me a purpose when I had none at some points. Okay? He is my service dog. Many don't know about those things. Um, so, yeah. He's my boy. Come here, Lo. Come on, Bubba. He is the alpha. I have a agreement with Loso that he was my first, and he will stay with me until the day he dies or I die. None of the others on my yard have that vow from me, but he is my boy, okay? Um, that's like how Jaws is Jew's boy. You know, we bought Jaws together way back when, and now he's Jews, and because same thing, like that is Jaw, that is Jews boy. He loves that dog, and Loso, that's he's my he's my dog. Now, <laughs> for somebody to ever get him, you're gonna have to come up with a big big track, cash in hand, and it's gonna have to be a lot, because I really don't want to sell him. He's my buddy too, okay? But I didn't give him the same vow that I did to Loso. He's my boy, okay? I've only bred him twice. Um, Ripley is one of the one of the daughters. I had Bandit and Nacho. Um, uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a road. We're gonna have puppies coming. So what'll happen is when the new pups come in. You know, the, when the puppies are old enough, when they're weaned from mama, then they would start coming out with all the, the, the pack. And you guys will get to see that. You'll get to see these big dudes interacting with little babies. And like Loso, that he loves puppies. Ripley is, I mean, she's a sweetheart too, okay? So it should be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. We're going to get some stuff set up in our yard so that we can separate and do things better. I finally got all the fence fixed, so now we got a good old zebra fence. But everything's fixed. Um, concrete's good. Grass is being seeded. Like, it just looks so much better than... I. You know, if you guys watched my videos when I started, uh, I don't... I got to find one. But this used to be, you know, last year, it was just a, a disaster. The pool was a hazard, so we filled it in, and then we've just been doing improvements since when I can afford to, um, because, you know, I need a good spot. Here, straight up, I'll tell you the truth. If you guys have read the book of Ecclesiastes, it tells you, okay, everything that we do, guys, it doesn't matter what it is, everything we do is vanity, okay? I make this yard nice because I like to have a nice spot to sit in. That's vanity. I do it so that it looks good in the videos. That's vanity. Do you understand? That's the truth of it, guys. I see all these people doing all these videos and I have dreams. All these things. Everything that you do, it's vanity. Because you're doing it for you. It's not for anyone else. Let me show you something. There's a good old saying. They always say that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Well. That's because I water it, guys. I take care of it, guys. Just like you need to in your relationships at home. Your relationships with God. Your relationships with your animals, your friends, and so on. Like everything, if you, when you come to the understanding... That everything you do, whether it be good or bad, uh, to help someone, or whatever it is, it's, it doesn't matter. It, it is all vanity. Because you do it for you, 
to either feel better or for you to be happy or whatever it is and i'm not i'm not complaining i'm telling you guys truth go read the book of ecclesiastes i'm telling you it will solve so many things for you it will give you peace in so many ways but you have to be able to look at yourself and understand why you're doing something guys i'm taking care of my yard because i like a nice spot to sit and i want it to look decent for these videos that i do for you okay that's the reason but in the end it's still vanity because it doesn't matter it, it does not matter i just do it so it looks nice there you go that's my pack mentality i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe i have a lot coming for you i'm getting ready to set up for trainings um, i had to get some stuff done before i could do that and get it ready because i'm seeding grass we're just trying to get it to regrow it got tore apart uh winter and i just needed to get it back to well a decent looking spot for y'all to watch so you're not looking at a bunch of dirt how about that have a good day all right guys thank you very much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you we're not too far from 5,000 subscribers so do me a favor share your favorite video with a friend tell them to subscribe if they're wanting to know about a little bit of whatever especially dogs i can help you there um yeah thanks guys i really appreciate each and every one of you uh this has been an ongoing project for a while it kind of changes you know direction here and there but for the most part i just let god lead my life and he takes me day by day teaches me a lesson every day and i'm thankful that's the bottom line i hope you guys are too if you're not try it and he will bless you have a good day everybody Thank you.